Good day everyone! This is Miss Joyce and welcome back to another interesting topic in science. Because learning science is fun! Before we proceed with our new lesson, let us try to recall what we have learned last time. Let's see if you still remember our last episode. Again, what was our last lesson? Yes, you are correct! Last time, we discussed about elements and compounds. Can you give me now the difference of the two? Very good! So, element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simple substances by chemical means. Element has only one kind of atom. A compound is a pure substance made from two or more different elements. It is formed through chemical reaction. Alright, try to answer the following. Determine if the given examples are elements or compounds. Okay, let's check your answers. Leave your scores in the comment section. Alright, so let us proceed to our next lesson. This is the objective. Describe briefly the history and basis of naming elements. So how do they name the elements in the periodic table? Let's find out. Names and symbols of elements. In 1811, a Swedish scientist, John Jacob Berzelius, developed the modern method of assigning or naming symbols to elements. Some elements, the first letter of their name is used as their symbol, and it should be written in capital letter. Samples are element, sulfur, symbol, S, nitrogen, N, oxygen, O, carbon, C, hydrogen, H. For some elements, along with first letter, second or other prominent letter is used in the symbol as small letter. The first letter should be written in capital letter and the second should be in small letter. Examples Element Bromine Symbol Br Beryllium Be Chlorine Cl Calcium, Ca Chromium, Cr Some elements are named after a mythological concept or character, including an astronomical object, a mineral or similar substance, a place or geographical region, a property of the element, or a scientist. Examples of mythological character Element Thorium Named after Thor, the Norse god of thunder. Tantalu Comes from Tantalus, who was a Greek mythological figure. Helium After Helios, the sun god. Many elements are named after minerals in which they are found. Examples are Calcium After Latin calx lime. Silicon, named after Latin salix sun. Sodium, after soda. Other elements are named from astronomical objects or planets. Examples are Uranium, Uranus, Plutonium, Pluto, Neptunium, Neptune. Other elements are named after famous scientists. Examples are Einsteinium, from Albert Einstein. Rutherfordium, from Ernest Rutherford. Mendelevium, from Dimitri Mendeleev. Other elements are named after a place or geographical region. Examples are Polonium, from Poland. Nihonium, from Japan. Francium, from France, 
The symbols of some elements have been derived from their Latin names. Examples, gold, Latin name, aurum, symbol, ave, tungsten, wolfram, w, tin, stanum, sn. Some elements are derived from Greek names. Examples, hydrogen, Greek name, hydro, symbol, H. Chromium. Chroma. CR. Chlorine. Chlorus. CL. Alright, did you learn a lot from our lesson today? So let us now have a summary of what we have learned today. Always remember, the basis of naming elements are 1. Using the first letter of the name of the element. 2. Using the first and second or other prominent letter of the name of the element. 3. Name after a mythological concept or character. 4. Name after minerals. 5. Name after planets. 6. Name after scientists. 7. Name after a place. 8. From Latin and Greek names. Okay, that's it. Now, get a paper and a pen. Try to answer the following. Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. Good job! Everybody got a high score! I hope you enjoy our lesson for today. Thank you for watching! Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video lesson. Goodbye!